for the Texas part. <laughs> Um, man, good night, right? Woo! Woo! I am. I know Alan is. Um. <laughs> uh, it's a special night. Uh, my name is Matt Harriger. Uh, this is my wife, Elise. <laughs> <laughs> and we're having a great time um, because, like you, uh, we are enjoying uh, the wedding of some of our best friends. Um, some of you know her as Stephanie or Steph. Some of you know her as Beasley or Bees. Bees! Bees! Some of us know her as Bees Nuts! <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry. 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 Twenty years. No, seriously. I'm so sorry. I told him not to. <laughs> sorry. I couldn't help. Um, no, it's literally all. We're going on twenty years of knowing each other, and going on twenty months of knowing each other. Um, <laughs> It blows my effing mind. Um, so whatever you know, whatever name you know her by, be it bees, death, bees, nuts, <laughs> whether you know it or not, we all, we all know her as being true blue. And that <laughs> true blue in the sense that one of the truest and most honest and sturdiest friends you've ever had in your life. I mean, I'm talking about a person that I'm, I can't, I don't know that many people that I've known for 20 years or almost 20 years. And yet, um, you have been such a good friend to me, not only directly, but indirectly. You, you have been affirming to me. You know a lot of my dirty laundry that that I wish you didn't know. Um, I know very little of your dirty laundry to your benefit tonight, so I can't tell you. Um, but you've been, uh, when, I, when I think back on our relationship, I'm so grateful to you for being a good friend to my wife because there have been so many times that you have cared and loved and supported my wife in ways that I could not. Um, that by being a good friend to Elise, you've been a great friend to me. Um, some of those nights have involved some tears. Some of those nights have involved a bottle of wine. Many of those nights involved three bottles of wine. Um, but all of those nights have involved good memories and good times and solid moments. And uh, I will never forget them. And will always appreciate them and appreciate you and your family and your friends um, because all of them have made you who you are, uh, which is a very special and, and uh, gracious friend to me. So, thank you. Okay, now I'm going to talk. Um, so, will you put my glass on there? Thank you. The two things that I think of when I think of you, first let me say I'm so glad that I'm here. And I love you guys so much. I had accidentally scheduled a trip before they scheduled their wedding, so um, it took a little finagling, but I, I am here, and I, I would not be anywhere else. Um, so, Bees and I were college roommates, and um, she was a part of, you know, when we started dating, and um, we were when we were planning our toast earlier, we were joking that we've slept with Bees as much as anybody else, because like yeah. we have shared so many hotel yeah, rooms. Yeah, platonic way. Like, I can't tell you how many trips it was like bees in one queen bed and Matt and me in the other queen yeah. bed to save money. So um, there have been a lot of cohabitating weekends with bees. But um, the two things that come to mind when I think of you are loyal and fun. And I know everybody in this room has 
lots of awesome stories um, about those incredible traits and, and knows that about her. Um, but just to tell a few tidbits, <clears throat> um, we really, it really is a saying in our house, bees is true blue. Like we say that all the time. I mean, when we go out of town and forget to make arrangements for somebody to feed our dog, who do we call? Bees, you know, like she is the person that you can count on in any situation. Um, and I made a pretty drastic um, or dramatic career shift about eight years ago. And Bees was so incredible, so supportive through the whole thing. Um, and I have to do fundraising as part of my job now. And she has not missed a single of my fundraisers in eight years. Um, she has been so supportive of me. And um, I just love that about you. Uh, we, everyone in this room knows that they can count on you no matter what. And I hope you know that. But the other awesome thing about Bees is that she's really fun. <laughs> and um, I have so many wonderful memories with this woman. Um, and she's not just fun to be around, but she makes you have fun too. So um, the two memories that popped in my mind were um, when we went to Asia together and she talked me into going to Mahout training school, which if you don't know what the word Mahout is, it is a certified elephant handler. <laughs> so when I was work working at a corporate law firm, instead of my degrees, I had my Mahout training certificate hanging <laughs> on my wall so that I could think of bees every day. We learned all the ways to get on top of an elephant and ride an elephant, which is much more complicated than one might think. <laughs> we, we wore these amazing, like, giant Asian pajamas together and took our elephants out into a um, river filled with God only knows what. Um, but we just had such an adventure, and um, it was really incredible. And then, you know, and none of these things would occur to me. It's all bees, right? Um, the other memory that popped in my head um, was sitting up at my corporate law job wanting to kill myself in 2008 and bees called me and said, hey, we um, just, you know, elected the first African-American president and we need to go to the inauguration. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, we're gonna go. I'm like, all right, we're doing this. And it was so amazing. And that was all you. And we partied until two in the morning at the inauguration ball and then got up at 4 a.m. to go watch the inauguration in the below freezing temperatures. Um, and Alan was there too. And um, that was just such a bees moment, right? Because she allows you to um, sort of experience the joy in life that you may not be aware of um, or tapping into. And I just love that about you. And I hope that you know how much we all, um, our lives are all enriched because of that. Um, and then Matt, we have been talking about you for a long time. We just didn't know who you were. <laughs> so my Matt and I have been having a conversation for, you know, a long time um, that went like this. Bees is the most amazing person on the planet. Where the hell is her dude? And it's you, we were waiting for. Um, I, I mean, we really, I'm not just saying this, like we knew immediately because when she, when you guys got together and even before you got together and she would talk about you, it was like all the right stuff, you know? Cause we're kind of like old crotchety married people now and we're sort of judgmental about these like new fangled <laughs> couples. Like, uh, that one's not gonna make it. That one's definitely gonna make it. And you guys, I mean, it was literally like, you were saying all the right things. You guys just had, you had it, you know? It was so clear that you had your priorities straight and that you were head over heels in love with each other and you truly um, valued each other for the right reasons. And we were so ecstatic. Um, so. Welcome to the family. We're just so happy for you guys, and we love you dearly. I'm talking.